Bank of America confirmed that after this, no one can buy Cardano. What's the truth behind this statement? In the meantime, this right here in this video and more can surely impact Cardano's price to skyrocket soon. There has been a recent decline in the Cardano cryptocurrency. And as we approach the last week of January, its market value is $35 billion as well as trading at $1.11 which is a 1.11% increase from its previous price. Moreover, it is ranked number 6 by CoinGecko. Although ADA's value remains stable compared to other coins that have seen an increase or decrease, it also holds on to its position very well. Consequently, if you're in search of a digital currency that has the potential for long-term investment, Cardano may be an option worth considering. On the other hand, Cardano's chart analysis shows its price has seen a massive gain in buying pressure throughout the past five days, and is showing signs this trend will continue. Additionally, ADA needs to clear one crucial hurdle to confirm the sustainability of bullish sentiment. At the moment of making or break, the Cardano price has risen by 26% on the third week of January, and the swing high is at $1.5. Following the 10% retracement, ADA reversed course completely, resulting in retesting the $1.35 barrier again. Moreover, over, ADA has tagged this barrier five times from January 4th to January 16th, so there is high probability that this level has weakened and may have broken through since the recent retest. And in the event ADA bulls were to succeed in pushing the altcoin through the 1.38 barrier, they would collect the buy stop liquidity above this level. In an extremely bullish scenario, ADA will attempt to break through the weekly resistance barrier that lies just below the zone of 4 hour supply between $1.46 and $1.52. Even though it is not likely that ADA will retest the $1.52 price, there is a good chance the Cardano price could cross the $1.46 hurdle, bringing the total rate of rising to 9% from where it is recently. Essentially, this move suggests that the five-month downtrend may be due to a reversal and that ADAP will begin a bullish trend. Considering the use cases of Cardano, what may be the reason for Bank of America's optimism about ADA? Throughout the past year or 12 months, ADA's market environment has shown a positive trend, and I'm certain that we will see a positive trend on Cardano's market soon, and this will make investing in Cardano a great strategy for making money over the long term. Additionally, if you're a newbie to crypto investing, make sure you're are always familiar with the best investment strategies. Furthermore, dealing with bull markets tends to be simpler than trading in other trends and markets. Also, there are always questions related to the authenticity of ADA coins from investors and traders because of the volatility effect on ADA. Furthermore, they want to know how much this virtual currency is worth, and according to experts and analysts, they see a great deal of potential in the virtual currency. Furthermore, it is believed by some technical indicators and experts that it would be a great investment in the long run. As as long as the rates are bullish. So would it be worthwhile to invest in? Anyway, let's see what the coin's prediction for this year is. It is believed that there will be a continuation in this fiscal year of the bullish trend that began the previous year. In 2022, however, the coin will reach its all-time high price and we will see the hype of it. Additionally, analysis suggests that it could go over $3 at that point, and its value could fall, but not as much, during the period from 2023 to 2025. All these years have been crucial to the development of this virtual currency. Moreover, the price of this coin will begin at $3 and rise to $5 in this area. Additionally, we might see some change in the following sectors within this tenure, including industry scenarios, market positions, economic overruns, policy restructuring, and political reasons for the coin to hold its performance on exchanges. Meanwhile, in experts' opinions and according to their beliefs, Cardano will be a big contender in the fiscal year 2030. Additionally, analysts estimate that the lowest possible price in 2030 for one ADA would be around $93, while the highest price in 2030 for one Cardano coin would be over $111. Also, a growing number of users are adopting cryptography and blockchain technology, which will increase the ADA's price. In addition to this, the use of cryptocurrencies hasn't been embraced and legalized in all parts of the world as we know. As a result of their non-recognition, these developing virtual currencies are found to have difficulty maintaining their value, especially ADA. Also, assuming there won't be a worldwide recognition of crypto until 2030, it's hard for the holders of almost every currency to be able to buy back their investments. Additionally, it will negatively impact the value of Cardano and affect its ability to maintain its spot. Moreover, analysts and experts think Cardano is an interesting project with great potential, which is why it needs to be taken advantage of. Furthermore, can be applied to a wide range of top-notch industries. 
In addition to the recognition of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies, there is also the possibility of further increases in the price of ADA. In the volatile world of cryptocurrencies, ADA is somewhat of an outlier, despite its projected increase in less than two months. Furthermore, Cardano claims to be the first third-generation cryptocurrency and aims to address problems related to scaling and infrastructure that were first encountered with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a first-generation cryptocurrency that introduced the concept of digital coins, whereas Ethereum is a second-generation cryptocurrency that expanded the role of coins to smart contracts. With Cardano, the developer hopes to solve specific challenges connected with scalability, interoperability, and sustainability on cryptocurrency platforms. First, we have the problem of network slowdowns and high transaction costs due to the high volume of transactions. In addition to this, the Ouroboros algorithm, or Cardano's algorithm, was proposed as a possible way to solve scaling issues. And the Ouroboros platform uses proof-of-stake technology to reduce energy consumption and thereby speed up transactions. Furthermore, Cardano Cardano aims to simplify a network's node count by having one blockchain per node instead of having multiple copies of each blockchain like Bitcoin. As a result, it is the responsibility of the leader to verify and validate transactions across a collection of nodes. In the following phase, transactions are sent to the main network by the leader node. Moreover, to scale their network, Cardano also uses RENA, also known as Recursive Internetwork Architecture. Also, it was originally developed by John Day to create customized increments within heterogeneous networks. In his remarks to cryptocurrency experts, Hoskinson said he wants Cardano protocols to meet the standards of TCPIP, the dominant protocol used on the internet for data transmission. Furthermore, interoperability relates to the ability for a cryptocurrency to operate within its natural ecosystem while integrating with other global financial institutions. In the current state of affairs, cryptocurrencies do not have a way of carrying out cross-chain transactions or making seamless transactions with traditional financial institutions. Further, the only intermediaries are unstable exchanges or exchanges charged exorbitant fees. Also, the cryptocurrency ecosystem has been further marginalized from its global counterpart, in part due to a multitude of regulations surrounding customer and transaction identity. Then, taking advantage of sidechains, Cardano aims to enable cross-chain transfers between parties that do not happen on the main blockchain. Additionally, it is exploring ways institutions and individuals can selectively divulge transactional data and identifiers to facilitate the use of cryptocurrency for daily transactions and trade. Furthermore, sustainability describes the development of governance structures offering incentives to miners and other stakeholders, as well as the creation of a self-sustaining economic model for cryptocurrencies. Additionally, the protocol aims to avoid messy hard forks like the ones in Bitcoin and Ethereum by building what its creators call a constitution of protocols. Upon implementation of the Cardano blockchain, protocols will be hard-coded, and applications built on the blockchain like online exchanges and wallets wallets will automatically check compliance. Additionally, this automation could reduce the time required to discuss and implement forks Hoskinson has called the mechanization of social processes. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.